I'm here pitching an idea for a panel, having um, a session that talked about how you can have substantial community engagement with developers, corporations, and local government on creating great places. So development projects go through uh, the process of they acquire a piece of property, they get um, uh, some plans drawn up, they submit it to the city, and they go back and forth. And as part of the process, they have community engagement, almost like a footnote or an afterthought, um, as something that has to happen in the process, but not something that's encouraged or even, frankly, wanted. Let's turn that process upside down and say, let's have significant community engagement right up front. The first three months of any project is going to be working with the community to design the best project and to actively engage. And we'll take part of the money that you normally allocate for delays and entitlement or lawsuits or whatever. And let's try and spend that money up front on community value rather than try and plan for it and, and just give it to lawyers or fees or, or, or whatever. If we do that, I think we have an opportunity to change the way the development community works with the residents and the businesses in an area to make something that's really uh, extraordinary. I say that based on the example of the Agrihood project in Santa Clara, California. A group of community members came together, I led this effort, uh, spent personal funds to uh, hire architects with uh, a local landscape designer, spent $150,000 of my own money so that we could vision this site, see what could we do if we create the most amount of community value and still have the things that we need in the area. And this asset would also have housing elements. So it have intergenerational mixed income and ground floor uh, retail. So you have an activated ground floor with maybe a farm stand, a wellness center, a butcher, a bakery, uh, maker spaces, maybe a commercial kitchen, something with it. So you have events and, and things like that. That happened because we took uh, energy from the community and then rather than trying to resist something, we actually tried to embrace an idea. And we went to the council and we advocated for that. The council liked this idea and they supported it. I'd like to see a panel that could come together and share their experiences, you know, nationally or internationally on what's the best way to inspire a community, a community that's typically a little bit more nervous about change, a, a little bit scared about the changes they see here in Silicon Valley. How can we get people on board with the idea of making change that is positive, that change can be good, but it requires participation and inspiration from the people that are concerned. So that's what I would like to have as a panel. Again, I don't have panelists, but I'd really like to explore how we can create a process or, or a system of processes uh, that allow for people to feel comfortable engaging so that they're not threatened by the change, but actually embrace the change in a way that they think is going to positively impact uh, their community. That's my idea.